not to take up any more time, I'd like to introduce Gail Rothschild. <laughs> I guess I want to start by thanking the Westport Art Center for this great show and for the opportunity to talk to you all. This series of paintings are called Portraits of Ancient Women. Each one is based on an actual archaeological artifact. This is a fragment of linen. I think it's 10, 10 inches square, which you could probably see because it's usually on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It dates from the Old Kingdom, and it's a fragment of linen. I've used these archaeological fragments as a sort of taking off point with these paintings. Obviously, there's a great deal of invention. Um, I like the idea in textile of repetition. I like it that there are grids that come together, that come apart. I like it primarily because it brings you to a place that's a cusp between nature and culture. Unlike a lot of artists, I'm an athlete. And very specifically for the last 14 years, I'm a rock climber. So the physicality of structure and that kind of getting in very close and even even those apertures to me are finger holds. And I'm looking, I'm looking at patterns in rock very closely as I'm climbing, and then frankly, as I'm belaying someone else, which means holding the end of the rope, I find that I'm looking at leaf litter. I'm looking at all sorts of organic patterns in nature, and I think they come back into the paintings. Over time, this tightly woven grid is sort of gradually turning back into the plant that it came from. Um, we start to feel roots and organic things happening. Um, I'm obviously not rendering or literally giving you the textile as it exists, but I've also discovered that, that to find the energy within the weaving and and to repeat but not to repeat, there's something very rhythmic and something very musical about that. It's almost ironic because I'm dealing with an image that's all about repetition. I mean, what could be more repetitious than weaving? Um, and yet, within that, there's infinite variety and infinite changes. Linen, which is, is actually, unlike cotton, a very difficult material to turn into a thread. You have to wet it, you have to go through a whole process, but what you ultimately get is a textile that's about as permanent as a textile can be. Of course, that's not all that permanent. No material is all that permanent. After studying painting at Yale, I almost immediately on graduation, I started doing public sculpture and installation art did that for about 15 years. And I discovered, because I was traveling from one museum to another residency at a college, that I was making things, and because there is, it wasn't a budget, really, to bring them back, I was having to destroy with my own hands everything that I was making. And I started to think, well, what's, what's a kind of literary archetype of what I'm doing? And I came up with Penelope from the Odyssey, who, of course, is keeping the suitors at bay while Odysseus is returning from the Trojan Wars by weaving what is ostensibly a, um, a shroud for Odysseus's father Laertes, but this is going on year after year after year, and anybody who knows textiles knows that what she would have been weaving was a, um, a narrative tapestry, a very complex, rich work of art. So here's the archetype of an artist who is making with her own hands and then taking apart. And I thought, well, that's what I'm doing with my installations. And that's what led to the paintings. I really wanted to get back to making something that was more permanent. I mean, textile also, um, it's a skin. And I like that idea that we're, we're finding something that, that not only touched human skin, but that it's, it's a kind of surrogate skin. So we. And, and for the thousands and thousands of years of human history, a lot of people's time was spent making textiles, either spinning all of those stories about spinning and spinning, they did that, they spun, they wove. So everything about this endeavor, everything about this 
project has to do with permanency and with material and with, I suppose, life and death, how long anything lasts. Thank you all for coming. This has really been a pleasure. Thank you so much.